A Pharaoh knew not Joseph's name, nor feared he Joseph's God. The bones of Israel suffered shame under whip and under rod, who sought to bring a great offense and utter desolation. He breathed out bloody violence against God's chosen nation. The king of Egypt's ill decree brought Jacob's children misery and charged their midwives cruelly that under harshest penalty they must destroy each baby boy. But the midwives feared the Lord more than the edge of Pharaoh's sword, and suffering not these babes to die, they volunteered a little, little lie, thereby this dreadful order to defy. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, quoth the midwives, Hebrew women are quite spry, and by the time we get to them, they have already multiplied and are delivered on their beds. So they sent Pharaoh sucking eggs, while Israel grew strong. Now there sat the tyrant, darkly brooding, above the bonds of Jacob's grueling, speculating and surmising, deliberating and devising, insult to add to injury. So Pharaoh charged his people, saying, More and mightier grows this nation, which we have now in subjugation, but should there be a revolution, I'm sure that we would wind up losing, so let's deal wisely with these things and contraceive these shepherd kings. Pluck the arrows from the quiver. Pharaoh's family planning center. For if you see a Hebrew woman ready to deliver, save the girls, but grab the boys and throw them in the river. A Levite woman bore a son at the zenith of this trial, and in a bulrush basket, bawling, adrift, she set him in the Nile, whom Pharaoh's daughter, bathing, providentially discovered, as holy Miriam, his sister, deep in the shadows, hovered. She drew him from death waters, deep, which threatened hard to swallow God's prophet and lawgiver, placed Moses at his mother's breast, until the day that he should deliver his people into Sabbath rest. Now through Moses' rod and Aaron's words, God's judgments were emblazed on men and oxen, crops and herds, the land of Egypt raised by God enthroned in heaven who shows forth his awful might against the works of Satan turning darkness into light. How then shall any nation stand which daring to defy the law of love and liberty so cruelly denies to little children life and breath indifferent to their cries? O oh, America, I weep for thee, though not for what I knew, but for a far-off memory of men and women brave and true who laid down life and liberty to fight for what is right, who made their nation shine amid all countries bold and bright, a burnished star sublime. Oh, your light is gone, your eyes are dark, and who has done the deed? Look at the black stain on your hands, the blood of your own seed, cries out to God against the land where you have sown in vain. Open the gates of pestilence, of ruin, of shame. Let tongues be held in reticence. Withhold the summer rain till the wicked strong man of the earth is bound in fiery chains, till Rachel's tears are drowned in mirth where Christ, the unborn baby, reigns.